Hello. Where? Brayden, the levee's at Highway 19. There's heavy flooding all the way down the valley. Are they sandbagging the bend? Yeah, I'm going to meet Daddy there. We'll probably be there all night. All right, well, I'm coming. No, you're staying here and watching your brother and sister. All bedtime still apply. Sharon, I'm calling your mother from the car. She'll pick you up. Of money. Oh, no, it's not about money. Oh, okay, it's about money. And workspace and credibility and coming up with ideas that our worst enemy doesn't already own. I mean, I could always tootle down to Beverly Hills and get the startup money from my parents. I could also feed my feet into a wood chipper. I'm sorry, I'm not going to give them the satisfaction. Uh, Susanna, nobody said anything. It's been a long road to zero. Right there is your pot of gold. Right where? Zero. Here we go. Don't you see the right this minute? You are as free as it is possible for anybody to be. Yeah, free as the wind over the dunes and your bundle is 30 days late. Hey, Johnny! Oh, go, yeah, go, go, go. Uh, if I ever hear you need help, money, anything, and didn't ask me for it? No! Go. She's going to leave. Go ahead. Go. All you have to do is hold out your hand. Oh, I couldn't do it to him again. I know myself. You know, you know he just might make you happy. Susanna? Yeah? Jay's right. You're scaring me. Where's that plane going? Okay, you're really scaring me. It's the 515 nonstop to Paris, and there's another one leaving at 10. When you say fashion, when you say cutting-edge couture, do you think of Southern California? No, ma'am, you do not. You do not think of Southern California. You think of Paris, France. I know better than to stay in one place too long. Right there. There is our airfare. Well... We share a seat. We'll knock on a thousand doors. We'll sweep floors for you, Saint Laurent. It'll be just like Marrakesh. Only without the arms dealer. <laughs> oh, my God, we are totally going to Paris. We are going to Paris. But not really tonight. Uh, yes, information. Yes, in Flyer, Linda, I need the telephone number of Far Horizons. It's a travel agency. Oh, I I'm sorry. Could, could you hold on one second? That's my other line. Hello? <laughs> Brayden? Brayden? Brayden, what is it? The river, it broke through. Brayden, honey, talk to me. <laughs> My parents, they're dead. Sister and her, her husband were killed in an accident. Ever make an honest man out of it? Oh no, we just live together. 
I mean, we all live together. So where are the kids? Upstairs, escaping from the casserole ladies. Ted, I want you to know that I'm going to help the kids get settled with you and Grace for as long as you need. And then after that, I'm just a two-hour plane flight away. Ava, we need to talk. Ava! Oh, here's my baby. mother and father are taken from their children, but not before that mother and father's heroic labors help save the lives of, we'll never know how many of their neighbors down the valley. How does God make a decision like that? We'll never know, but we can know beyond any doubt that Bob and Karen are looking down on their children from the green fields of heaven in a place where the only river that jumps its banks is the ever-flowing torrent of God's mercy and understanding. Excuse me. came up from Topeka this morning, gave me a look at the will. Ted, I know the farm is in really bad shape, so any financial help you need with the kids. Ava, Karen and Bob left the kids to you. To me? Why? That was my question. Karen never told you? We talked about it, but that was years ago. And over a lot of pina coladas, a lot of pina coladas. How old is the will? This year... Lawyer tells me Karen was very clear on this point. And Bob, how clear was he on it? Well, I've always had faith in Karen's decisions, so I will have to have faith in Bob's. Was she crazy? Uh, Ted and Grace are the parents around here, not me. I'm just... You're just what? The fun aunt from California. Who has loved those kids since the second they were born. really happening I have things to decide do I take them straight back to California in the middle of the school year there's only a couple days left what am I saying I can't take them to California everything they know is here I have to move back but where does that leave you in Paris and starting our own line oh, no but Bob hated California so I have to think about what he uh, you need want. to think about three college educations one wedding and two rehearsal dinners I can get a job here I can Karen, you never left one jar of peanut butter off a shopping list. How could you not leave me instructions? I know what I have to do. I have to ask the kids what they want to do. Oh, no, 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 no. no. What they need right now is a grown-up to tell them what's going to happen next. So do I. <laughs> 